Hey everyone, I'm going to briefly go over the Boolean tool within Maya 2023. Now the Boolean tool is nothing new to Maya, however with 2023 they revamped the interface significantly to make it a lot more user friendly and to act more like a live Boolean. Uh, to get to the Boolean tools, you come up here to Mesh Booleans and here they are. I'm going to go ahead and click this little line right here uh, just so that I can dock the window here. Now starting off with the very first one, Union, if I just select this cylindrical object right here and select this sphere, notice how they are two separate pieces of geometry, and I'm just going to click Union. This is going to open up the Attribute Editor, and notice how now this geometry is one piece. If I select this uh, cylinder coming off the bottom and hit Apply, it'll now add another layer to this layer stack and now all three of those uh, original pieces are now one geometry. Now the nice part about this live boolean is you can still change some of this geometry. Uh, so if you realize you no longer want to use union, you want to use uh, something like difference, and notice how I can still select this piece and actually uh, update the position of this. And the geometry is reacting to it in real time. And now keep in mind, depending where you put this, uh, if you look at the wireframe, it could be adding a significantly um, messed up geometry that you may have to fix to get back to your quads. So now let's go ahead and use this in practice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this old geometry. I made a few duplicates to uh, kind of show two different methods to this. Now this piece that I have highlighted is this little section on this phone. And when I look at this, I'm trying to decide uh, how is this built. Is each one of these pieces welded together? to essentially make it now one piece of geometry, or are they individual pieces that are screwed into one another? Now the easiest method is uh, using just Boolean uh, as if it's all one separate piece of geometry. You could go ahead and do them individually, or you could also just grab everything and just click Union. And notice how now, uh, as stated before, it is one separate geo. Uh, when you get to something like this point, uh, here is where you'll typically want to delete history and now start fixing some of the topology. So for instance, right here, notice how this is an n-gon, and pretty much all of these cylinders where they uh, met into a sphere will have n-gons. So in a case like this, I'm going to go ahead and use a shift right click, open up the multi-cut tool, and connect these edges. And I'll just kind of wrap around like so. Uh, now this turns green because for whatever reason it just lost its shader group. Uh, to fix that, I'm just going to right click this thing, go to the very bottom, assign existing material, and then reassign Lambert 1. Lambert 1 is just the default material within Maya. So there will be a handful of end guns that you'll have to fix. At this point, I just keep hitting G to repeat that command. And if I hit 3, notice how these are all quads now. Now, every once in a while, uh, if your geometry wasn't perfectly lined up, like here, for instance, uh, this edge should actually be merged. So in this case, I just selected that little edge, shift right click, merge, and merge, which gives me the same exact topology up here, where I can do a multi-cut tool to connect these. All right, so now if I'm going this route where I think all of this geometry is welded together, 
I will just have to continue to uh, adjust some of the topology to make sure I return to my full quads. Um, on some places, sometimes despite the points being essentially on top of each other, when I hit three, notice how there are two points right here. Now you won't actually notice it. It looks like they're uh, one uh, vertice, but hitting three actually reveals that there's two. Now I can do the same exact thing where I do shift right click, merge, and merge the center. Uh, but another solution to this, and this would actually do it across the entire model. So on this piece, I happened to actually do it a whole bunch of times. I can come up here to uh, Edit Mesh and Merge, and I'm going to open up the dialog box. Now the way Merge works is uh, think of this threshold as sort of like a distance. Uh, that the vertices are looking at to merge. When you have something like this where these vertices are on top of each other, you want to make this number very small. So I just added one additional zero to make it 0 0.001. That way it doesn't accidentally merge things that I don't want it to. So I'll hit three just to show, but as soon as I hit apply, notice how all of those uh, extra edges disappear and I am introduce back to just my quads. <clears throat> now the other way you can approach this boolean is to think about it instead of them being one solid piece of geometry that's all welded together, you can think of it as individual pieces that fit into one another. Now when you go to this approach, uh, it'll typically be a little bit more work uh, but it does introduce um, some pretty nice detail. Uh, I'm going to choose to kind of do these pieces one at a time. And since I am going to do them one at a time, I'm going to kind of duplicate a handful of pieces at a time. So this first cylinder, I'm going to uh, actually duplicate it with Shift D. And then select this sphere and do a difference of B A. Now you can't tell right away, but if I isolate this, notice how now I have this sphere that is actually cut out. And if I grab these two pieces, the idea with this, uh, this is as if it was built in real life, and this uh, little metal ball can actually slide onto the cylinder. Uh, I can continue to expand on this, so I'm going to grab uh, this cylindrical piece right here, I'm going to Shift-D to duplicate it, and I'll just grab this sphere and do the same thing. So now notice if I look at this piece, uh, it's introducing an additional hole down there. It has this hole right here, and it starts creating that look uh, that all these pieces can actually fit into one another. Now you won't really notice this detail as much until you start beveling, uh, which I have covered in a different video purely for beveling. But to show a quick idea on this, if I grab these edges right here, and I'll grab these two right here, just going to apply a quick bevel. I'll apply a quick bevel on these edges. And notice how right now uh, I actually have to fix some of these because they're not quads. So I'm going to just do the multi-cut tool. And like so. And now I can grab that and apply a bevel. And so now when I look at this, if I subdivide this geometry, uh, the bevel really highlights how this looks like it's fitting into it as separate pieces. Uh, whereas the previous demonstration uh, made it to where it looked like it's all one piece of geometry. 
and I'll just quickly add some bevels on here. Kind of like so. And this really shows off the difference. So in this instance, either case can be correct. It really just comes down to what sort of look you're going for.